Welcome to another episode of Cooking for My Boyfriend. We are trying something new today. On the menu today, we have mushroom risotto with sirloin steak. I got the recipe from at Marinated Olive. Please check out her page for the step by step. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. It goes on to say in verse 6, In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. This is my favorite verse in the Bible. And can you guess what my biggest struggle is in my journey with God? It's trusting him. This is so crazy and so ironic because how can my favorite scripture be about trusting God and yet the one thing that I struggle with the most is actually trusting God. And it's not that God has ever proven himself to be untrustworthy. All my life, God has been faithful and time after time, God has shown me that I can trust him. But because I am the type of person who has to be in control and likes to be in control, I have a very, very hard time trusting him. I am the type of Christian who wants God to say, Precious, this is how your life is going to go. You're going to live here. You're going to work there. This is your purpose. This is who you're going to marry. These are the kids that you're going to have. And this is how your entire life is going to pan out. But I've noticed in my walk with God as a child of God that actually that is not how God moves. God requires us to trust him and he requires us to have faith in him. And that means that we actually don't know our tomorrow and we don't know how the trajectory of our life is going to move. And if you think about it, if God actually did tell us everything that was going to happen in our lives, we wouldn't have a need to trust him or to even have faith because we would already know and so we would rely on our own strength. The most humbling thing that I've ever had to go through was when God was showing me that I am not in control. I am not in control of anything as it pertains to my life and it is the most humbling thing that I've ever had to come to accept. I have no idea what's going to happen in the next two seconds, two minutes, two months, or even two years. And do you know what that does? It puts me in the most helpless and humbled position to just trust God, to trust that he has good plans for me, and to trust that he already perfects everything that concerns me. And every day I rely on him to reveal it to me as I walk with him. It hasn't been easy, but I am getting comfortable navigating the uncertainty of life. I am getting comfortable functioning in the unknown because I know that I am not alone. I have the Spirit of God as my help and my guide. And wherever I go and however my life pans out, I know that there isn't a place too far for the grace and mercy of God to reach me. Anyway, for somebody who was cooking risotto for the first time, I think I outdid myself. This meal turned out to be absolutely delicious. Thank you for watching.